Kaurav, while buying open access solar solution, we figured out there are 20 plus renewable energy developers offering open access solar solution for our plant. All of them are promising similar kind of tariffs, similar kind of delivery timelines from PPSHA. It's like standing in front of the giant buffet with so many attractive dishes, but I don't know which dish to pick up. So I told him the, the method to kill this madness. So in this video, I'm going to cover those four golden parameters which will help you shortlist the right open access solar developer so that you are sure about your power delivery and you can enjoy the huge amount of cost savings from these open access solar power rather than waiting for your power uh, from the developer. So stay with me till the end of this video because I have a special gift to offer for you. So number one, look at the credibility of the developer. Like you wouldn't lend your money to anyone without knowing the credibility. So you should not invest in the project of a open access developer without knowing that credibility. So now the question arises, how do I assess the credibility? What are the parameters that I need to assess? So I'm going to break down for you. Number one, check the financials of the developer to whom you're going to sign up for. Check their financials for last three years. Check the profitability, check the equity, whether they have the equity to fund that project or not. And that equity should be significantly higher than the cost of the project. So second, check for the credit rating. What kind of credit rating uh, that credit rating agency has given to them? This will enhance the credibility of the developer. Third, which is important parameter is how much business they have done in India, how much the open access portfolio they have in India, what kind of customer they have served, take feedback from the customers and not only in India, it is very, very critical that you check the open access portfolio in the state in which you have the project. See, each state is a different country in India. So if a developer having a credibility probably in Gujarat may not have a credibility in UP. So it is important for you to check the credibility and the open access portfolio in that particular state and, and the kind of customer that they have served. So this will totally give you a good idea about their credibility and becomes one of the parameter which is critical for you to assess the uh, and shortlist the right developer. Second important parameter or the bucket under which you should assess the developer is to do a due diligence on them. Imagine building a house without checking the quality of the bricks, the cement and the land status of, the, of that house. Sounds risky, isn't it? So same principle applies here. Do the due diligence on following three parameters. One is land. Check whether the land is leased or acquired. How many owners are there? Whether the due diligence is done or not? Is the boundary wall already set up or not? So all those things you need to do a due diligence upon. And if possible, do a side visit as well. Second, check the equipment status, whether the modules, inverters, equipment order has been placed. What is the likely time of delivery? Do a backup checkup, whether the you have the purchase order copies, etc, etc or not. So third important parameter is the techno-commercial parameter. Now let's talk about the numbers and their plans. So in this category, evaluate their response, uh, the different developer response on the tariff, on the equity, on the capacity that they're of offering. Check for the absolute amount of equity that you need to invest to get the similar amount of units from everyone and then run a financial model to calculate the impact of these parameters into the um, uh, what is the NPV that you are getting by putting this parameter into the financial model. So this will help you rank the developers only on the techno commercial parameters, which I mentioned about. Fourth, which is the most important parameter, check the response of each of the developers on the critical terms, the terms like their response on the exit scenarios, the response on the minimum saving guarantee, the response on, on the payment bank guarantee, invoices, dispute, change in law, force majeure kind of situations. Check and what are the responses of each of the developer against the response that you have asked for. This will help you uh, do a rating on the developer based on these uh, responses that they have given. So in a nutshell, now you have four parameters. One is the credibility. Second is the due diligence. Third is the techno commercial proposal. And fourth is the their response on the critical parameters. See, I always say this shortlisting a developer 
or a right developer is like shortlisting your partner for the marriage so because you are getting into a long term relationship so it is important to do as much due diligence as possible so that you don't get into a rift situation later so consider that from that perspective and apply these above four golden parameters if you found this video helpful then i'm not yet done for you i gave you a promise that there is a something special gift at the end of this video so go to the description link below uh, wherein you will find a special pdf wherein my team and myself have broken down the steps that you need to look at while doing a due diligence on the on the developer from the perspective of the connectivity perspective what are the things what are the top 3 4 things that you need to definitely definitely check and you should not miss it out So click on the link below and hit the subscribe button for more such valuable videos. I look forward to see you in my next video. Thank you.